Good morning and welcome to ITAD English News with me, Bhakti Abe Surya. To begin with, let's take a look at the stories making headlines this morning. China appreciates the goodwill shown by Sri Lanka during difficult times. The police commission approves to appoint senior DIG Lionel Gunatilaka as the new commandant of the police special task force. The health minister says that a hospital or a special division will be established for diseases such as coronavirus. Coronavirus kills Chinese whistleblower doctor. And now for the news in detail. President Gotabe Rajapaksha gifted a consignment of world-renowned Ceylon black tea to the Chinese ambassador Cheng Suan to be sent to those affected by the coronavirus. President's media division said Ambassador Zuan deeply appreciated the gesture. The ambassador on behalf of President Xi Jinping and the government of the People's Republic of China thanked the government of Sri Lanka and the Sri Lankan people for the kindness shown to China in this difficult moment. He also thanked all the religious and other leaders who organized the all-night period sermon on the 5th of this month. Every divisional secretariat throughout the island conducted the period ceremonies at the same time, blessing those who are affected and wishing them a speedy recovery. President Rajapaksha in turn thanked the ambassador for the assistance extended to bring back the Sri Lankan students from the Wuhan province. The police commission has approved to appoint senior DIG Lionel Gunatilaka as the new commandant of the police special task force. Accordingly, the police department said that he would take over the functions of the SCF in due course. The number of deaths due to the coronavirus has increased up to 565. The number of infected stands as 28,273. Meanwhile, Health Minister Pavitra Vaniarachi says that a hospital or a special division will be established for such diseases. Government Media Officers Association, Medical Officers Association rather, has also commended the steps taken by the government to prevent a breakout of the coronavirus in the country. 28,018 have been infected with coronavirus in China. 260 deaths have been reported from other countries. Many airlines have limited their flights to China. 1,100 have been cured from the disease. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has asked for a donation of 675 million US dollars to control and eradicate the virus. The WHO has said it will provide 500,000 oral masks and breathing machines for the countries infected with the virus. Tourist warnings have been issued to Taiwan, Hong Kong and Macau. A wedding was reported from Singapore where the ceremony was held without the bride and the bridegroom due to the virus. The couple had visited China before the wedding. Foreign media reported that invitees at the wedding hall got connected with the couple through a video call as they were afraid of the virus. Meanwhile, the only infected person found from Sri Lanka is the Chinese female tourist. In more local news this morning, President Gotabe Rajapaksha says the government will work with commitment to take out the country from the precipice it has fallen into. He said this during a meeting at the Presidential Secretariat. A meeting took place between the President and Chairman of the Plantation and Financial Institutions and their board members. They exchanged views on improving the economy. A group of people, including President Secretary Dr. P. B. Jayasundara and President's Advisor Lalit Viratunga, were present at the meeting. Former Sri Lankan Airlines Chairman Kapila Chandra Sena and his wife Priyanka Vijayanayaka were placed in remand custody. The Colombo Fort Magistrate Court issued warrants on the 3rd of this month to arrest former Sri Lankan Airlines Chairman Kapila Chandra Sena and his wife Priyanka Vijayanayaka. It was in connection with an alleged fraud when purchasing a fleet of aircrafts. They have been accused of accepting a bribe of two million US dollars in the transaction between Sri Lankan Airlines and Airbus Company. Accordingly, Kapila Chandra Sena and his wife surrendered to the CID. After questioning, arresting them, they were produced in court. They were remanded until the 19th of this month. 
Pakistan Lifestyle Exhibition 2020, organized for the second time, took place at the BMICH in Colombo. The chief guest at the exhibition was Minister Vibal Veeravansha. Pakistan textile material, fabrics, clay work, handicraft and many other items were on display. Speaking on the occasion, Pakistan High Commissioner in Sri Lanka, retired Major General Muhammad Saad Khatak said the bond between the two countries has become more stronger. Finally, in local news, Sri Lanka Navy, in coordination with the Sri Lanka Excise Department, apprehended a person with a stock of Kerala cannabis during a search operation carried out at the Tontabanaru Beach area in Jaffna. As an extension of the Navy's continuous drug prevention operations in the sea around the island, Navy, in coordination with Excise Department in Achankani, introduced, conducted rather a raid at the Tontabanaru Beach area in Jaffna. Nearly 110 kilograms of Kerala cannabis made ready for transportation discovered during the operation. A suspect identified as 34-year-old resident of the Palali area was also apprehended in connection. Further investigations are carried out by the Chankani Excise Department. That's it from our news desk. Thank you for joining us on English News ITN. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.